Welcome to my fisheries and aquaculture class. I'm Captain Dr. Anthony Amala J. Sili, Assistant Professor in Zoology, Fatima College, Madurai. This class is meant for second year MSc Zoology students. In today's class, I'm going to talk about riverine fisheries in India. Rivers, as we all know, it flows and where the fishes are being found and which are the sources of livinghood in the riverine areas. The riverine fisheries are part of the inland fisheries where the fishes are being captured directly from the rivers with the help of the fishing gears and crafts. The riverine fishery resources in India is immense as large number of productive river systems are present in India. There are various rivers as you can see here, Brahmaputra, Ganga, Godavari, Krishna, down south we have the Kaveri, Vaigai, and so many other rivers on the north like Indus. So these are the various rivers that we can see in India. And this chart, it actually shows the inland fish production that is from different states of the country. So this all depends on the rivers, the freshwater bodies that are found in India. The river system in India, we can divide it into five major river systems, namely Ganges river system, Brahmaputra river system, Indus river system, the peninsula east coast and the west coast. So the Ganga river system, this includes the regions which the river Ganga covers. And the Brahmaputra river system, it includes the areas that are there in the northeastern region. Whereas in this river system, it is found on the northern part of India. While the peninsula east coast, this comprises of Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and the Kaveri. And the west coast includes the west part of the western Ghats and the basins of Narmada and Tapti. This is the profile of various river systems in India. This is the potential fish yield from the Indian rivers based on their length and the basin area. Now let's see one by one. The Ganga river system, it is one of the largest river system in India. The Ganges, as we know, it is a perennial river which originates from the Gangotri near the Himalayas and enters the plains at Haridwar, passes through the states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. And finally, it joins the Bay of Bengal. The principal tributaries are the rivers Ramganga, Gomati, Ghagra, Ghantak, Gosi, Yamuna, that is along with the Chambal, Betwa and Keno. All these amounts a catchment area of about 9.72 lakhs square kilometers. And the major fishes that we can find in this river system are the Indian major carps and other fish species. Ganga, as we know, is considered to be the most holy river according to Hindus. It has started from the Gangotri in the Himalayas and poured into the Bay of Bengal, almost traveling about 2,525 kilometers. It is being ranked as the third largest river in the world. There are a number of cities that has developed across the banks of Ganga, like the Patliputra, Kashi, Allahabad, Varnasi, Kolkata, etc. 
it had also created the world's largest delta that we can find in West Bengal and which has been named as the Sundarban Delta. This is the estimated mean annual landings at different centers of Ganga. So this shows how much metric tons of fishes are being caught in different parts of Ganga. Moving on to the second river system is the Brahmaputra river system. It originates from Angasi glacier that is the northern Himalayas in Tibet and then it enters into the Arunachal Pradesh and to Assam. Then it is merging with Padma River in Bangladesh. So the total length of Brahmaputra River is 2,900 meters. And it plays an important role in the irrigation as well as in transportation. Finally, it is reaching the Bay of Bengal. As this river system, it originates from the glacier mass near the area that is called as the Mansarovar crosses the Tibet, moving into Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and Bangladesh. And in some places it even joins with Ganga. It merges at Loyalon as Padma, then finally it flows into the Bay of Bengal. There are a large number of tributaries that we can note in Assam and this river system, it has a catchment area of about 2,900 square kilometers. The amount of commercial production of this river is not well known. As we know, it passes into the neighboring countries. However, these are the important fishes of this system, this riverine system. So this picture, it shows the flowing of Brahmaputra as well as the Ganges. The third riverine system in India is the Indus River Valley. It originates from the Tibetan Plateau and then flows through Ladakh, then enters into Pakistan and finally merges into the Arabian Sea after traveling a distance of about 3,180 kilometers. So it starts from near to Mansarovar and flows through Tibet. After flowing for about 800 kilometers, it turns south through the Ladakh range and enters Pakistan through Kashmir. It has five tributaries on its bank, namely Jhelum, Chinab, Ravi, Bias, and Satluj. This has the fishes which are of mixed type. This is the Indus River system, which is finally resulting in the six important rivers in this river, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Bias, as well as Satluj. The East Coast system, this consists of four, four major rivers. That is Godavari, it originates from the Diolali Hills in Northern Western Ghat and terminates into the Bay of Bengal. It has a total catchment area of 3,15,980 square kilometers. While River Ganga, uh, River Krishna originates in the Western Ghat, ranges from south of Pune to its delta on the east coast. This has the catchment area of 2,33,229 square kilometers. River Kaveri originates from the Brahmin Hills on the Western Ghat and it flows in the southeasterly direction, finally terminates into the Bay of Bengal at Tamil Nadu. The main fishes that we can find in Godavari and Krishna are Labio, Sirinus, the different varieties of Labio, that is Labio Kalbasu, Katla Katla, Mistis and Hilcha. Kaveri has some special features in fish fauna. It also contains store varieties noted here in Kaveri. 
So these are the three rivers, how it flows, and finally it reaches the Bay of Bengal. The western coast river system includes two rivers, namely Narmada and Tapti. River Narmada originates in the Amarakanth Hills in Madhya Pradesh, and it terminates or it flows into the Gulf of Cambay after crossing Gujarat. This has a catchment area of 94,235 square kilometers. Tor Tor forms the bulk of fish that is being produced in this river. Besides this, the Indian major calves forms the major river, riverine fisheries of Narmada River. So this is the way how Narmada River flows finally reaching into the Bay of Cambay. River Tapti has its origin in Mount Vintia. It crosses through Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat and finally joins the Arabian Sea at Dumas near Surat. It has a catchment area of about 48,000 square kilometers. The fishes noted in River Tapti are Tor Tor, Labio Fremitus, Labio Kalbasu, Labio Beta, Labio Bogat, Mistis Ora, and Mistis Singhala. So these are the five major riverine systems that we can find in India. Thank you.